Yeah, alright, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Dragon Warrior 4. I did a ton of off-screen level grinding to get Alina, Christo, and Bray up to level 10. So let's check out, um, some stuff about Christo. Uh, he's a bit stronger. I got him, um, an iron spear. Uh, basically, I upgraded all of his armor and equipment, so he's hitting pretty damn hard. And he got the surround cell spell, which, um... Basically makes it so physical attackers will miss more, and he got the antidote spell also, so if we're poisoned, we can heal that up. That's not what I meant. Status info Bray. Bray! The only real good thing about him is that he is a shit ton of MP. Uh, he didn't get much besides the scale shield, but he did get the uh, bounce, return, and outside spells. Return will bring you back to any town that you've already been to. Outside will warp you out of a dungeon, and bounce will bounce off the enemy spells. Alright, so let's continue on down south. I did all of my level grinding really far down south. But today we're going to want to go in here. I love the dungeon theme in this game. So let's search, and we get the Wing of the Wyvern, which is pretty much the return spell that doesn't use MP and sucks up a... Inventory slot. Here's a two Blaze Ghost and a Somna Beetle. Now I'm gonna send uh, Elena at the Somna Beetle. Took it out in one hit. Now uh, I gave Elena the uh, boomerang, which is a weapon, since so she actually used it pretty well. And Elena also has a, her own critical hit formula, or so I've heard, and she gets a ton of critical hits. And these are Thevros. I found that they are a little... Well, they got some pretty good defenses. So hitting them with an Ice Bolt isn't really a bad idea, because Ice Bolt uses magic... I guess they're hitting... Hit magic defense, I guess. It's my strategy for fighting... Well, was my strategy for fighting Thevros before I got stronger with Alina and Christo. Here's a Crested Viper. That thing looks mean! Look at that thing's face! On. Okay, cool. The thing about the Crusted Vipers is that they can, uh, poison you. And that's not cool. I mean, we do have the Antidote spell, but I want to save all my MP for, uh... Because Crystal doesn't have nearly as much MP as, uh, Alina does. So I want to save all my MP for, uh, healing spells, because I also only packed a few, uh, medical herbs. Damn it, Somni Beetle lived. Basically, the Somna Beetle will- Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Okay, that was... interesting. Oh yeah, basically, if you attack the, uh, Blaze Ghost, sometimes they can, uh... Do that. Make a new one of them. i just never seen it in the NES version. So basically, you, you want to kill them. Don't just mess around with them. You kill them, and you kill them quickly. Damn it, it happened again. Damn it, stop it! Come on, Crystal, take this thing out. Okay. That was annoying. At least we got a. I think you get experience for each Blaze Ghost, and if not, then that was just a colossal waste of time, and I'm pissed off at those Blaze Ghosts. Alright, now, what we want here. When I ended the last episode, they talked about a golden bracelet. That's what we want to find. getting a little low on HP. Well, Bray doesn't have very good HP anyway. That's why I don't really like him. I mean, he gets a ton of MP. In fact, his MP is so high, he can cast any spell in the entire series, except for Omni Heal from, um, Dragon Quest IX, because that used a, just a... It was a stupid amount of uh, MP. I mean, why would I cast 128 MP to heal my whole party? Better off just using a Nigdrasil do, you know? 360 gold pieces. Nice. Now, the battles are getting a bit long, so if I get into another one, I'll just cut it out. Well, actually, that's just a Crusted Viper. Nothing too bad. Okay, so we gotta go up here. I think 
thing about the boomerang in later games is it hits in all the enemies on the screen. It doesn't do it here, though, it's just a nice boost here for attack. Oh, here are two new enemies. Oh, crap. No! Oh, that doesn't actually hit too hard. I didn't hit too hard. These vampire bats don't seem so bad. Yeah, that isn't too bad. I mean, Christo has the highest, uh... Like, he's the best armor out of everybody right now. Alina doesn't have very much. Why am I calling her Alina? I know it's Elena. Okay. Alright, so... Let's head down here. Oh, this looks... Well, it's just a dead end, so... Not going to worry about that. It's nice having cold soda in the house. I don't usually have cold soda in the house, because I like... To I usually like warm Diet Coke. Hmm, that didn't seem fun at all. Oh boy, what could that be? And the magic potion, I have no idea what it does. I think, no, no, I think it just gives you your, uh, MP back. Be good for lengthier dungeons, I suppose. I don't want these things using sleep more! Okay, it didn't work. Cool. Love it when a plan goes right. But yeah, this is the game. Just a lot of random encounters. I have no idea why I love RPGs so much. But they taught me pa what patience was, so... Thank you, RPGs. Golden Bracelet! That's what we came here for, so let's cast the uh, outside spell and get outside of this place. If you try to cast a return spell inside of a dungeon, you'll just bang your head on the ceiling. It, it won't work. So we want to go to uh, Frenor. The bazaar is where I did all of my training by. Alright, so I'm going to just heal up at the end and I'll be right back. Bracelet. Fine. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do with the golden bracelet, actually. But I know I gotta... I just don't remember how we're supposed to figure that out. <sighs> Basically, the criminals are nearby here. I just don't remember where they are. I'll be, uh, right back. Okay. You said to run around a bit at night, and let's head to the graveyard. I don't know why they decided to go into the graveyard at the town where they kidnapped the so-called princess, but I see you brought what we want. Give it to me now! No. But thou must! Fine. I got it! Here's the princess! Bye! Thanks for rescuing me. I've learned a lesson. I'm not really a princess. My name is May. I'm just an actress. I got carried away because people treated me nicely when I pretended to be a princess. You selfish, spoiled bitch. At least we got the thief's key from it. Which can be used to open doors. Very nice. And a new day began. Alright, so now let's cast a... Re Since I don't want to do a whole bunch of walking to the bazaar, let's just cast a return spell to go there. It's basically completely southeast... I mean, southwest of, uh... Frenor. So now we're in the bazaar. They give... They sell really good stuff here. Elena, I've been looking for you! Return to the castle immediately! The king is in trouble! Well, my god, let's go back to Santeem. And they just let me back. Bastard. Okay. <laughs> it's awful, the king can't speak! 
Well, good. Now he can't tell me to go away. I mean, stay in my room anymore. King, why can't you speak? Oh, yes, the guy who lives in the backyard shed may know of a remedy. Open this door up and let's get the hell out of here. So let's go talk to the creepy guy who lives in the back of the castle. I think that they did a really good job with the DS remake, thinking about it now. And we have to use the thief's key to open that door. The king lost his voice. I know Marone, the pa poet, once damaged his throat. Now he has the loveliest voice in the country. He know what? He may know what to do. Well, where will we find this person? I think he's in the next town over. Hmm, serene. Ha! Ah. What dost thou sell here? Ooh, a weapon shop. I guess that's where we would have started getting weapons from. Oh well. That's useless to me. Let's head inside. Well, those are priests and priestesses. Do you know anything about Marone? Uh-oh. Too old. But... Doesn't matter at all. Oh, I guess I could. Yes, I'm Marone. Why is my voice so lovely? I think taking bird song nectar and alpha medicine helps. I found it in a desert ship during the bazaar. La 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 la! Interesting. Let's go to the bazaar. God, I love the return spell. It's called Zoom in the uh, remakes. And we'll just end in modern day Dragon Warrior games in general. We'll quest now. Where would we get such birdsong nectar? Do you have it, Sarah? The Western Tower where the elves visit, huh? I guess we're going to the Western Tower where the elves visit. Is that the Western Tower? No, nope, here's the Western Tower where the elves visit. I can't believe we got that far without a random encounter. Alright, so now we're in the Tower of the Elves. Hey, buddy, what you want? The door's locked, I can't go upstairs. That's just sad. Well... Well, yeah, there's an inn here, and it's actually, uh, the same price as this. Fuck. My voice. <coughs> I feel like I have a Dorito stuck in my throat. But, uh, that's impossible. I haven't had Doritos today. Gotta look at how mean those things look. Hmm. So, this is the Tower of the Elves. We have a new enemy here, Spectet. We fought... These are palette swaps of, um... Thing we found at, uh, with Sorrow's Shadow in, uh, Chapter 1. Oh boy, Iron Eyes. Iron Eyes makes it so that whoever cast it is immune to damage for three turns. It's a very stallish spell. It had a good, like, H.C. Bailey had a good use for a Dragon Warrior 3, but in this game, they give you no the enemies at like, it's good for finding out enemy attack patterns. But other than that, it's kind of useless. And jeez, that gave a lot of experience! And Alina leveled up. Sweet. Look at how good her... Those are some good... Like, Alina is my favorite character in Dragon Warrior 4. Whoa! whoa oh, no! No, 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 no! Not a preemptive strike! Oh, boy. Do not want. Oh boy, a poison lizard and a spectet. The uh, loud shrieking roar makes it so, um... Your character may be frozen in fear for a turn. Put you out of commission for the turn. Christo, you coward. 
Christo was a pansy from the beginning, anyway. He's only here because I need a healer. Can't say I remember the layout of this tower very well. Because everything looks so different from the... Like, the DS version, like, really went out all out with the graphics. Razor wins. I'm actually gonna have Bray parry. Cause he's not really in a good way right now. You, my illustrious friend, need to heal the fuck up. He's hoping for a critical hit, he's usually so good with those. So I'm actually going to heal up off screen, I'll be uh, back in a sec. Okay, well, I got back down here, so let's continue exploring this tower. Here's a Tyrannodon. Imagine if dinosaurs lived in the modern day, you know? That'd be kind of scary. Like any second we could see a massive T-Rex just tearing through our neighborhood. <laughs> fun. Unless you were, like, a dinosaur hunter. How would you really be a dinosaur hunter? You'd carry some sort of heaven weaponry around. Heavy weaponry around, not heaven weaponry. Alina, you were so brave! Damn, the encounter rate is so high up here. All for a piece of treasure I don't even want. I don't even want the freaking wing of the wyvern. I don't need a wing of the wyvern. Like, I'm usually good with a high encounter rate, because I have... I have beaten the original... Well, not the original Dragon Warrior 1. Like, I beat the uh, Game Boy Color remake. I also beat the uh, Dragon Warrior 2 Game Boy Color remake. That was difficult. But it was really fun. I had a good time doing that. Okay. Almost done. No random encounter, no random encounter, no random encounter! Yeah, baby! Yay, you're humans! Later, we're leaving now! Yes, sister. Oops, I dropped the medicine. Don't worry about it. Seems legit. Cool! We got the bird song Nectar. So let's cast, uh, Return and get back to Sam Team. Sam Team. I bet you all glad we're back safely. We're almost done with chapter two, jeez. So let's item use that bird song nectar. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! I, I I can speak! I can speak! You did I thank you. I had terrible dreams. A big monster came out of the evil world and was destroying everything. At first, I intended to keep them to myself, but I kept having the same dreams over and over again. I became worried, so I decided to tell the council about them, and then I lost my voice. Something terrible may be about to happen. I won't stop you anymore. Travel the world and see what's happening. Brain Crystal, I place the lane of safety into your hands. Bitchin'. Hmm. But what's all this about, like, evil kings? We've been hearing that a lot late lately. Well... I guess we'll just have to worry about that next time on Dragon Warrior 4. See you guys then.